Greetings everyone and welcome back to Android 800 Extreme. How good of you to join and stick around to Sleepy Hollow in the dusk setting right now. Uh, yeah, we continue onwards right away with lots of important things. The first one is I just commissioned uh, two ships again, so a clipper and a ship of the line. Uh, we are out of ships. Uh, who would have actually believed that? We don't have any clippers anymore and I need more, 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 more. Uh, warships is also fine. We have a bit of influence, so I can invest that once again. A uh, reason why we are out of clippers, of course, we've used now the last one in the last episode on the pepper and cattle production that is now finally also taking off. There is now... <laughs> there it is actually getting the first over there. Uh, yeah, pardon also my coarse voice at the moment. I'm still recovering from a bit of a yeah, second COVID uh, infection, that is. Now, um, in this case here, um, that's that. Um, the clipper, right? Let's actually commission a second one right away. It really needs to go this way. And then we can actually work on my canned food now. And as we can see, pepper and cattle is in, or beef is in. And with that, we can start... <laughs> Yeah, getting four kitchens on the way. Super expensive that is. And with that, also three canneries. There you go. Hopefully, we won't have to do this uh, anytime soon again. We can also go ahead and upgrade one of those warehouses there. Getting another loading ramp out of the uh, on the way. And also increasing uh, its speed. Its loading speed, that is. And with that, we should be prepared. So they're all flooding now to the, the warehouse and getting things done. Now with that, yeah, ship under attack. This is this is just pirates here, look at that. Uh, the pirate has uh, realized that I'm not really having a lot of warships. It's already pretty tight for me. Mm, here we have the patrol, that's okay. Let's actually set it a bit uh, more central there. Uh, the thing is though, I have no pi uh, warships now here, right? And the pirate immediately uses that bacon. Uh, we have them here, we had to assign them here because um, I was running low on that. We have two more up here blockading Miss Hunt right now. She's having the schooners. Unfortunately, I will just have to let Miss Hunt pass and get my two warships down here, clearing the pirate because she really annoys now my very short trade route here of, uh, yeah, of my most important goods, really. Look at that. This is looking very dangerous. That's one brave captain trying to save the day, getting goods to Sleepy Hollow. Ah, and there's also another pirate ship. Wow, beautiful, beautiful sun, sundown there right now. All right, um, in this case, I'm expecting this clipper to survive though, right? We could build another cannon tower, but I'm pretty sure the flamethrower will be fine. And yeah. After all of this, we are still having a nice balance. We can now go ahead and probably prepare everything for the final push. So canned food is coming in soon. We just need a university. And this is actually something we can build right away. I just need space for it. And space is tight. In this case, let's just find us a good location. I think I think I found one and that's here. Unfortunately, we'll need to get rid of the artisans. Right. That's hurting, of course. Not that much. We got thousands of artisans at this point, and I can always upgrade a few more in. Uh, also, the university will be having a nice boost here, and that is two more artisans per building, right? So we are boosting our population with that also. So I'm not going to blueprint it. We're rather just building it right away. And let's actually have a look towards the north there, because there is also then a little plaza area that we can that we can create there. And with that, a new building comes in. Beautiful, fits the setting right away, so we don't need a skin really. Uh, yeah, <laughs> with, a, with a gunboat. Are you kidding me? Uh, we have three gunboats. Let's actually get them let's actually get them into this harbor area to protect my fisheries, right? Because she really wants that. Oh, and she's sending more ships in. Ah, uh, we are stretched. We are really stretched thin there right now. Uh, let's try to get them in here. We, we need to keep the ships here. Otherwise, the pirate will just annoy me. <sighs> Should we get those warships? We're having the problem right now that Miss Hunt and Anne Harlow are advancing on me. Um, here, there's another problem. Overloaded warehouses and we need a bit more grain for Sleepy Hollow, so I do need to get building materials over there. I don't have a clipper though. There we took down a pirate ship, so let's just look at its loot. There's my gunboats. And they're going to stay here now, protecting that area. So if she wants to annoy me again, those three gunboats. By the way, these were my first warships. And they're still alive. That's that's a nice achievement there, I think. Usually I'm losing them rather quickly. And we got an uh, inspector 
for yeah well selling price is probably the best we can do out of this all right gotta be careful here of not getting between those those ships there so I, I mean of course I want to get between them because we can fire them on both sides simultaneously no I'm not paying you 70,000 it's ridiculous you have to pay me something that should be the goal And up here is also a simultaneous battle. So we're actually going to take down two more ships there. And she totally deserves this, of course. Down. And down. Perfect. There's still some loot coming out of this. Right up here. I actually told you passive defense, please. So don't chase them. Even though this is a schooner. Uh, let's chase it down. Right. Finally, a new clipper comes to light. That's super important. Let's get this uh, clipper revolution, it's called. Uh, let's get it out there right away for some timber. Whoops. What else do we need? Yeah, some bricks can't hurt. And a bit of steel beams there. To Kalimborg, where I definitely do want to improve things a bit further. Lots of farmers we still have. I could get rid of them and build me another field then. Um, and how's it looking, by the way, with my potato production? Schnapps is fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. And in Kallenberg, we're producing 24 tons of potatoes right now. In Sleepy Hollow, we only need 12 tons, and that's already the, the, the limit, right? So I don't really need that many. So we can also get rid of them, get rid of three, and build me another grain farm as well, because that's just way more powerful. But that's one, and ooh, I might actually be able to squeeze in two. 125 fields. Uh, 135. You have some room left here. Oh yeah, we can actually do this. Look at that. We can get rid of some more fields here. And just place them down here. Right. And this one has then also all its fields. And that's actually two more grain farms. That's a lot, by the way. Revolution comes in at the same time. And let's go ahead and, yeah, build them all. And let's also build another warehouse and upgrade one existing. Perfect. This will improve things. It's already boosted by 50. And with that, we have a total production of 17. I don't know if this is counting it already in. Uh, 17 seems like an odd number, though. And in, we do need a total amount of 12. With that, we have room actually now to boost my bread production. Very important. We are running at low on that. So another another windmill and two more bakeries. Let's also upgrade the warehouse there. And da -da 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 I think that's it though. Yeah, beer production might be another boost, but we're moving towards engineers now. They don't need beer. And it's tight, but it's fine. So I'm, I'm fine with the beer as is. Yeah, we are stable at 120 tons. That's okay. What have I done? I've done nothing. Nothing wrong. But there it is. And do we have canned food in? We should have canned food in at this point. There it is. Seven tons. Perfect. They're working. They're working diligently. We have the university. Let's activate the canned food. And with that, the last resource is coming in. For my artisans. Should boost my income there as well a bit. And also my population, of course. And with that, everything has been provided. And let's go also ahead with some materials. Eh, I don't have a lot of steel beams. Hmm, I could, however, if I had another ship. We do have the Wobbly Grebe. As the old pirate hat still there. Uh, yeah, let's use the... No, actually, let's use Revolution. We have this one available. Go to Archie and purchase us some steel beams. He's got 150 tons ready. We can use this for some massive upgrading then soon. And of course, the money is no problem. Alright, there it is. Uh, we can use this uh, tiny moment that we have to also decorate the town a bit more. That's something that um, I was actually looking forward to because these Eldritch Pack, uh, yeah, fountains look amazing. We also got the dead trees uh, and we also got cathedral squares here. This is particularly nice. Right, and looks rather gloomy, so I might have this somewhere up there then. 
Oh, come on. I mean, they're super expensive, right? Where? Here again. Oh, yeah, okay. She's now attacking with a ship of the line, actually. That could easily town my, my two warships. Uh, uh, yeah, let's get another one up there. It's required, unfortunately. She's really fixed on, on destroying my building here. So, she might actually be losing this. He's not attacking my gunboats. What a strange woman that is. Yeah, let's take it down, of course. Some good old fun there is. That was a ship of the line. Must have some interesting loot. A yeah, hand blown grenade. 500 in value. She's really one poor sort. Alright, let's get this one back. Uh, what's happening in the new world? Uh, there is an attack. Ah, but she's backing off again. Nothing we need to do there. Let's head back. I was looking with my fur coats, by the way. So there should also be a bit more cotton fabric now coming in and fur anyway. Yes, very good. So this is actually climbing now again steadily. And with that, with that... It's ready. It's on. Ladies and gents, it's on. So purchasing the 150 steel beams only cost me 21,000. Let's also purchase some bricks there in between. Since we have all of that, uh, we're going to need that anyway. And yeah, we are ready for um, engineers. There's uh, a one big disappointment about engineers. They don't have the Eldritch um, pack. So we can use, of course, some darker tone to it. And let's start. Uh, we will need oil to provide at some point, right? So it's important to also make sure that we got the oil right then. And also close to the streets and probably here then a, an electricity power plant. So upgrading that batch here should be my first goal. And with that, the Age of Science and Wonder starts. We reach a totally new era where the game usually completely overhauls with electricity, railroads and steamships. Now, one thing I can do here, though, is I can add a darker tone to that. The nightlife skin is actually something. Uh, or also the brick skin, right? Both of them would work for this. Um, so let's go ahead and add the darker brick skins. And also mix it with the, the nightlife skins that we have then as well. This looks definitely darker and it fits the, the theme for sure. Um, we can use then more ornaments in between for the elder spec uh, that we use here to to also add this gloomy feeling to it right we got the the dream spire there uh we got the dead trees the twisted trees they're actually quite expensive a delivery quest for alonso we're on good terms with alonso right now we should probably stick to this thatcher of the morning lady oh this looks pretty cool and the gargoyle that we have then as well. Unfortunately, there's no real thin fountain, right, for this pack. So, Honestly, nothing that we could add see. then right in there. We could add some fires. And then some more dark atom. And let's, of course, also go ahead and upgrade some of those roads here. And look at that. They're twisting and turning around. So that's still a nice one. For this shady, shady town, Sleepy Hollow. Uh, we also get a resident quest for the engineers and need some sand theme paper. Cannot present a single unifying theory without the support of experimental evidence. And what is it? You need quartz sand and tallow. Do we have that? Yes, we'll find out. No, we don't. The tallow especially must be difficult. We don't have any tallow in right now. Uh, quartz sand is though something I'm pretty sure we can get in. Tallow, that's a problem. I might have it in Admiral's Demise. Yeah, we have Tello in Admiral's Demise. So let's actually go ahead and unload the steel beams and the bricks. Get down there and take it. Ah, what kind of ships are under attack there? There it is. Still chasing it. Go for passive. And just stick to this area, please. I mean, we could probably make it really, really quiet over there by adding a flamethrower. Let's do this. Let's be careful about this though, because we will need an oil harbor here at some point as well. I would definitely like to keep my, my space. There it is, flamethrower. Costs me quite a bit, but it's necessary. And with that, we don't need to use the ships up there anymore. That's at least also something. We can use them a bit further in the center. And this warship here, we will also be using here in the, in the channel. 
Alright, Pirate coming into the harp area again. Brownwell, not a big deal. And yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade a few more. I guess here. Uh, capital City has been achieved with that. And probably also these guys here. And with that, we're out of timber anyway. That actually fits really nice, right? So this is just the, the perfect tone for it. And then we can also upgrade a few more roads here. Make it nice for these guys here. So there's the engineers now. Oh, come on. What's going on? Down here, another attack. Oh, Miss Hunt is coming in with a few more ships. Wouldn't be a big of a bit of a problem there, right? I've moved my warships down because we needed that. Sean was getting really annoying in this area. Uh, passive defense there, of course. And I guess she's trying now to block this area here once more. Income is increasing, by the way, and also population there. So that's all nice and dandy. Uh, she's actually moving further. That's okay. By the way, speaking about income, um, yeah, let's purchase another share. She actually repurchased one of these. And I want to, of course, stay investor. And Alonso is also a good investment there, right? Still having 100,000 and boosting our share income there to 2,100. That's what I like to see. Siphoning money away from my opponents. All right. Uh, down here, the Tello is in. Let's get the 20 tons. And let's actually temporarily boost my sand mines there by 50%. So we get the surplus. And with that, we will be able to finish then this mission. All right, with the engineers also, we have now electricity, reinforced concrete, very important also we get the steam shipyard, and we would have the option of having the commute pier and sharing workforce across the islands, though that's very expensive, especially influence cost is super high on this, so that's probably not something I'm going to do that quickly. With the next ship coming out, we have achieved Supreme Commander, and this gives me another 17% attack speed on my ships globally so this is really a really nice booster overall right that we can work with while we're at it let's continue with some upgrades um we do have lots of workers here that we can upgrade oh we're still pretty low. there is the timber now and we have all the materials for the quest <laughs> really we get 20 wood veneers that's worthless thanks for this random nonsense reward for this quest. Usually the resident quests have some good rewards. This one was a bugger. Right, let's go ahead. A few more engineers here. And I would also like to upgrade a few more workers to artisans then. And out of timber again. How was it would it look during nighttime? Even better. Especially the nightlife districts, of course, the nightlife skin adds a nice flavor. Alright, back to the new world, because I would like to go ahead right away with a very cheap production, really, that yields high rewards, though, and that's, of course, the coffee. And for that, we do need a bit of space. I'm, yeah, here we have lots of flat land that um, we can use easily for this. Let's go ahead. There's also some oil fields. Let's keep that in mind, because I certainly don't want to, uh, yeah, destroy my potential there. There's also up here a beach area, so let's make sure that we can use this as well. And the rest is then clear. And here's the... The train then at some point coming out, right? So let's also keep that in mind. But other than that, we can go crazy on coffee plantations. Once again, that's something we don't need in high volumes, right? So right now, in Sleepy Hollow, we have the amount of one ton. It's probably going up to four to six tons long-term-wise. So let's calculate with ten tons in mind. And that would be ten coffee plantations in total. Sounds a lot. Mm, not really, right? So let's go ahead and place us those fields. So there you go, 10 coffee plantations max. We even have then room here for some warehouses up there for the beach area. And we would still have plenty of space for expansion, right? But still, that's not entirely necessary. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, and actually start with the first six. They're so dirt cheap that I don't really care about it. The only thing is the uh, initial uh, construction cost. Let's go ahead with four, actually, sorry. It's 40,000 already with this. So yeah. That cost is pretty high. The maintenance though is laughable. With only 25 credits on the balance, 
it's almost non uh it doesn't almost exist right so in this case here that's fine uh what we still need to do is also add a fire station to this area mm, i might have it over there to combine it with the harbor area already and with that we need four coffee roasters for the beginning um we do have our little harbor area here already available industrial harbor area where i can then just go ahead with the coffee roasters now the biggest cost for these is obreros right 150 per coffee roaster um and if i want to go with the 10 so we do need a total of uh five of these guys here right so it's just for the sake of it let's make it six so that i have this block completed um and we are just going to have then some warehouses over it and this is already more than we need and let's build the first two that's 300 barrels and this is the highest cost the maintenance cost of 150 is also laughable in comparison to what these actually yield us now with that the coffee production is starting ramping up the first harvest is already coming in <laughs> on these beautiful fields. I mean, really, who wouldn't want to live here? Glorious. If it weren't for the constant threats of pirates and mishunties. Other than that, it's not so bad out there. And, oh, yeah, speaking about that, there is another attack coming in, but just a smaller ship. A suicide mission it is, right? And Buckthorn is probably going to be on the straight route here. Oh, we also have a pretty big sickness here. And yeah, with that, we need some bricks. And unfortunately, I don't really have bricks here. Do we have another ship other than Buckthorn? No. I need some clippers there as well uh, for the new world, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and turn this one in. I'm also going to get some bricks from Santiago, right? Oh, also not looking really good here. I guess we will also need a city has grown more a hospital here. Let's place one up there. Those sicknesses really can wreck your day. And I might also consider two fire stations, really. There you go. Do we have a chapel for all of them? Yeah, that is fine. Ah, not completely. Let's actually add one more for these guys here. I don't want to keep them unhappy unnecessarily. <laughs> this is so annoying, even though we do have everything here. Some of you have been pointing out I could also put, uh, just escort those clippers. That would not be feasible on this scale, right? We would need so many warships to escort every single clipper. It's much better to secure corridors like this one here. Having the harbor defenses then up there plus warships makes for a safer passage for several ships at once. So we are we are rather thinking about um, territory instead of uh, protecting single ships. That would not be so so great. Another ship is coming out. We will commission another clipper and then another ship of the line right away. The fleet is growing with that. Meanwhile, also down here in Brownwell, my building materials have arrived, and I will use one of my yeah my flagship here to also get more materials over because Brownwell is perfect then for the limestone deposits. We want to start with the reinforced concrete, um, my next and fifth building material that we have unlocked with the engineers and we definitely want to get this one in as soon as possible. By the way, since we're here, let's continue with some upgrades. These guys here, more engineers uh, for my, sorry, city. And I don't really have a lot of building materials. It's that timber especially. That's a surprise for me. We will need to ramp this up. Because that's actually the single most limiting factor right now. A bunch more engineers. Boosting us to 13,000. Now I'm just going to wait here for the resources. And one more thing we can do now is probably down here. Yep, take the bricks. Let's take some hundred tons and really get rid of that problem for a while. Newspaper guy. Let's go in and have a look. Definitely a 30 consumption. The right chance we can keep, and then I'm going with a minor propaganda here, 10% more income. Uh, we could probably tone this one down again in the future as well. Definitely don't want to reduce my consumption though, or increase my consumption, if that makes sense. Even though it's costing me quite a bit. That's just that. Salsa Verde, we can actually upgrade the harbor area. Let's do this. There's my clippers coming in. With that, we are first of all able to build me a hospital here. This is the primary goal, of course. Uh, yeah. Squeeze it in here for these guys. And the other one is now that we can add Buckthorn as a new trade rod. It's entirely new. 
I'm not going to add it to another one. And this is then Sleepy Hollow to Salsaverde. And we're going to load here now, of course, coffee. All of it. <laughs> and we're going to unload all of it then on Sleepy Hollow. And Buckthorn, you are on the straight rod. And with that... Oh, wait a second. Yeah, this would certainly lead to, to destruction. Uh, so we need to take a middle stop there. Clampton. And then Sleepy Hollow, right? And let's actually make sure that we are using Clampton then again as we move. As long as we're at peace with Alonso, this trade rod is fine. It's still super nasty, of course. And here we are going to unload now the, the coffee then. Yeah. That's working. And with that, the first good for engineers is already coming in as well. And look at that. It actually will provide then... 17 additional coin per building and two more engineers on top of that and that's for the laughable maintenance cost of 400 that this coffee production costs me and that's already two times more than what we actually need so it's a perfect product really to start with glasses spectacles that's going to be more expensive uh, this is going to take a bit longer to prepare and for now let's work on the reinforced concrete and probably uh, probably we'll also need to do some more pirate hunting there as well stay tuned Is a distinct whiff of powder in the air. 